Hey guys, Sol here with a new game for you guys, and today we're gonna play Back to the Future, the game. Actually, this game is broken down into five episodes, so right now we're actually gonna do the first episode, which is It's About Time. So, yeah, let's check this out, guys. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Sure. Alright. I think the game's about to start. Oh man. <laughs> I'm actually excited right, I'm, to play right, this I'm ready. Game. What the heck? Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need. Hey, hey, boy, get in there. <laughs> that a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. The animation for this is pretty cool. Have a good trip, <laughs> Einstein. Watch your head. I like how Telltale like details your games like this. It's pretty crazy. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. I said that. Yeah. Okay. It's tell. Got it. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Where's the doggy going? Not me. The car. The car. <laughs> Whoa. What are we running to? If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> Holy crap. I can't believe he likes it set that. Watch this, watch this! Watch it. Oh! What did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! <laughs> I said, where's the car? The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! <laughs> Ow! Doc, what would happen to the car? <laughs> I'm not Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! What? <laughs> Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. About? And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. What are you talking about? A time machine? <laughs> The way I see it, if you're going to build a time like machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction this made the fox dispersal... This acting's pretty bad, guys. <laughs> Look out! Just kidding. What would a movie critic say right now? Uh... Wooden doc? characters? <laughs> oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us. 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. Into the future. Probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Toolbox, huh? I guess we're gonna have to look for it. Get Doc's notebook. Doc needs his notebook. Toolbox. Alright, checking this out. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? I was about to say that. What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this <laughs> notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Very. Let's see. <laughs> it's mass equals i times z, and e equals Wait. the square root of z times c squared, and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional. The consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 
stuck? What's going on now? Oh, Twin Pine Mall. Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake. What is that? I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! <laughs> what the heck just happened? Doc! And TB just did something weird right now, sorry. Marty? <laughs> is everything okay? It's all good, yeah, though, Mom, guys. I, Don't worry. It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Sorry if you guys like hearing me. Well, you're talk. safe and <laughs> so. sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap. I'm late. <laughs> well, guys, that was the beginning. I'm gonna play a little bit more, then, like, stop it. Because I actually have to go to sleep. Wake up early for work tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, it's about time. See what I tell you guys. This is the first episode. Should be pretty interesting, actually. Damn. Thing can blow me away, I bet you. <laughs> you go stereo system there. State cell. Dad! Are we too late to stop the... Sale? <laughs> Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. <laughs> the city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. <laughs> but at least things can't get any worse. Life isn't fair, my friend. Hey, Marty! What the hell? Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? <laughs> nah, I guess I'm just... remembering. Remember how much they got with the green sweaters. <laughs> what is this? Doc stuff is being auctioned off. You better search the lab to make sure something dangerous doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Like say, Biff. <laughs> okay. It's been months since anyone has heard from Doc Brown. Despite Marty's protests, the city has moved forward with the state proceedings and is auctioning off his belongings. Ah, okay. <laughs> I miss Einstein. <laughs> well, this isn't too hard, just had to like. A look fish at tank? That. I never knew Doc raised fish. <laughs> Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kinda like Doc. <laughs> Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? Cool. I'm gonna explore over here a bit more. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there's Biff. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. <laughs> what the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? 
Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff. What the? Uh, can, can I <laughs> see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. You asshole, I saw that first. Come on, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess <laughs> you're right. But I picked it up first. Wow. Give it here, Biff. <laughs> well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your <laughs> business. Doc asked me Brown's to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah. No! I need to help press the triangle button. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to stop him right now. Eh. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. But I wanna check all these other cool stuff. I'll probably... No, 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 no. Doc sure did love his Jules Verne. Why can't we turn it on? Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. <laughs> That's crazy, sir. So all of these things just like references towards... Um... Back to the Future movies. It's crazy. I'm trying to click. Doc that. must have whipped up some crazy there compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> well, that smells like beef stew. That's one thing I can still get. <laughs> I got. Having such. I'll probably. Seems kind of empty without the courthouse. That's uh, just this. Hey, Biff. The notebook is worthless. The note reminds me of the. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm I'm sentimental. <laughs> it's like a piece of doc. Hope that works. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. Whoa, cold. It's worthless, this wouldn't buy the nut. It's just a notebook with Doc's <laughs> scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing! <laughs> and then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. <laughs> That's true. You wouldn't understand the notebook. I'll, I'll buy pay it. you for it. <laughs> How much? Uh, Not enough. <laughs> that notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? <laughs> wow. That I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What? Is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. God, this guy I'll take is so my chances. <laughs> Ah, uh, never mind. There has to be another way. Damn. This guy is as solid as a rock, man. No, no, no. I'm trying to, like, check the bugs up there. It's not working. <laughs> Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Hmm, that's crazy. I think I have an idea. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. <laughs> Let's make some noise. Primary power, drivers. Primary driver. Oh, this thing's gonna explode. And what does an amplifier need? Hey, Dad, wh why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous <laughs> clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. <laughs> 
I'll take it. My least guitar. Trying to use it. Oh, there we go. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. <laughs> wow. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. gosh. <laughs> You're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. <laughs> Let's hear a few licks. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. There's gotta be something we can do here. Examine. I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. <laughs> now that not a shame of is his a dangerous father. amp. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Hey, Dad. Who's running this sale? Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? <laughs> you got it, Mr. McFly! Doc's alive. Can I fly my own flights? Doc. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. <laughs> he's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe <laughs> he's just hiding from his creditors. Seems logical, I guess. Need to protect them. So. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. Huh. I guess... I can fly. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. <laughs> Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. <laughs> okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation <laughs> to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? <laughs> you can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. God. I'll keep looking around. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. His status. No, whatever. I think I know what I must do now. <laughs> Just as long as I see the little pink thing on top of this amplifier or... Actually, I think this would just work fine if I just and now click on the guitar. something your kids are really gonna like. <laughs> Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. <laughs> oh yes, this should work. Go ahead. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> Goodbye, Biff. <laughs> Rock on, Biff. <laughs> oh, he shoot. was gonna say something else. <laughs> oh my god, yes. 
Ah, uh, Doc, where are you? Is that could it be? <laughs> Alright guys, well, this is all the time I had for today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys like this video. Oh look, Doc's Legacy, we got a trophy. And yeah, I'll make sure to have more videos of this for you guys soon. So yeah, bye guys. Oh my god, this guy's so done. Heck yeah. It's Green Orb City, man! <laughs> Woohoo! Grab the bomb now. Ooh, combo! Woohoo!